Today we are covering what's been one of my favorite PBE builds to date that can give you insane super and ability regen using ARC 3.0. My favorite thing about this build is it doesn't even require having perfectly rolled high stat armor because as you'll see my armor stats aren't even optimized but the energy region is so good it doesn't even matter. So I'm going to cover the aspects and fragments, armor, mods, and weapons you want to use to unlock the power of this warlock build. I'll also leave a dim link in the description for you to easily access this build yourself. Now let's jump into the build and if you enjoyed this video consider dropping a like as it helps support the channel. Starting with our aspects and fragments and our overall subclass. Now, in terms of our super, we can kind of touch on a couple of different things. You really can use Chaos Reach or Storm Trance. Their base cooldown is going to be the same. It's really going to depend on the type of content you're playing. Personally, in a lot of the footage, I was using Storm Trance just since there was more enemy or more enemy density. But if you're playing something where enemy density was less of a concern and you want to have some more DPS for the boss, I would recommend going with Chaos Reach. But in this build, as you're going to see, either way, your super is going to recharge incredibly quickly. So really just based on the content, you can really choose either one here. Uh, but again, you're going to get it sometimes in less than a minute. In terms of our abilities, we're going to be using Healing Rift just so we can uh, stay alive as much as possible. Burst Glide, nothing special here, just kind of the best movement overall for Warlock. And then in terms of our melee, you can use Ball Lightning or Chain Lightning. Personally, for me, I went with Chain Lightning only because when we get to our aspects, you're going to see we're using Lightning Surge. So we're not actually using this base ability so much, but I chose Chain Lightning because it's going to give us that lower base cooldown. Now going into our grenade, I actually chose the flashbang grenade. As you can see, as you're gonna see, it's really easy to land this grenade in the midst of a lot of enemies, and it's gonna create a nice jolting effect and get easy kills, but also is great at blinding nearby targets, and so kind of rendering them unable to do damage for a short period of time because they're blinded. So this is also great for just kind of stunning enemies overall. Obviously all the storm grenade is another great option. Overall, I've been really enjoying flashbang grenade with this build for blinding targets. And again, getting tons of enemies jolted all at once. Diving into our aspects, as you're going to see, we're using Lightning Surge. So while sliding, activate your charge melee ability to blink forward, calling down lightning strikes that jolt targets as you rematerialize. And again, just as a reminder, jolting is where you're going to kind of do additional damage uh, to targets while they're jolted. So it's kind of like a debuff. And then they also chain lightning to enemies around them. So it's really good for getting that chain web or arc web like effect with your ability. So in this build, as you're going to see, where it's all about really jolting enemies as much as possible, chaining all that lightning together to create either ionic traces or proc conduction tines, which we'll get in a little bit, a little bit later. Uh, from there, we're using electrostatic mind, and this one is super important for this build because this will allow us when we're defeating targets with arc abilities or defeating jolted or blinded targets creates an ionic trace, and that really ties into our flashbang grenade. We're going to be blinding uh, those all those enemies when we throw this grenade ensuring that when we get that debuff uh, set up on those enemies and we kill them we're almost guaranteeing we're, that we're going to be generating that ionic trace now as you can you're going to see with the fragments we might be able to get some people jolted but this isn't a way to kind of assure that we're getting ionic traces via either blinding or jolting enemies by pairing that with electrostatic mind so that anytime we kill someone that is blinded or jolted, we are getting an Ionic Trace, which can be huge for our overall ability regen on this build. For our fragments starting off here, we're gonna be using Spark of Shock, your Arc Grenades Jolt Target. So really tying into what I was just talking about, uh, really pairs well with the Flashbang Grenade, which will blind and now also jolt enemies. And so really assuring that when we get those kills, that we're gonna get at least one, and in some cases, maybe two Ionic Traces from one enemy. From there, I also use Spark of Resistance. While surrounded by combatants, you're more resistant to incoming damage, plus 10 strength, which is nice. This is just, again, to help boost our survivability. Nothing too critical here. And then we have Spark of Discharge. Arc Weapon Final Blows have a chance to create an Ionic Trace. And as when we get to our weapons, you're gonna see why this is super helpful. Pairs really well with Electrostatic Mind, so that just gives us another way to continue generating Ionic Traces and continue to get just nonstop ability regen. From there, we have Spark of Beacons. While you are amplified, your Arc Special Weapon Final Blows create a blinding explosion. And this is great. This is gonna be great for the weapon we're gonna be using because again, as we get amplified very easily from getting those Ionic Traces, you're gonna be able to get kills with that's our special weapon of choice, which is gonna blind enemies, create the blinding effect, which means when we kill them, they're gonna create additional Ionic Traces. 
and you can already see the synergy that is developing with this build to get constant ionic traces from basically every enemy that you kill as long as you're using that grenade um, or jolting enemies which is pretty hard not to do because either your melee uh, with the lightning surge or your grenade is going to jolt and or blind enemies altogether basically guaranteeing that you're going to be getting an ionic trace our armor and mods are next and we got to start with the exotic crown of tempest and kind of an unsurprising choice in terms of what would be a go-to exotic for r 3.0 but gonna highlight it anyway and as you can see conduction tines or the exotic uh trait here has been updated arc ability or jolt final blows increase the recharge rate of your arc abilities and extend the duration of storm trance you can get up to conduction tines times three so it does stack and then as you can see here, uh, those jolting, so when we're hitting people with our melee or hitting someone with our grenade, all of that is gonna jolt enemies, which is gonna help uh, trigger conduction tines, and then also generate those ionic traces. And when you combine conduction tines with the ionic traces, that's where you're gonna really see that insane ability regen, especially when you can get it up to times three. And then for that, we're also gonna be throwing fusion rifle ammo finder, as you're gonna see when we get to our ammo, and then font of wisdom, so when you pick up an elemental well that matches your subclass energy type, grant you temporary significant increase to your intellect, improving the recharge rate of our super. And this is gonna be huge for making sure that our super is gonna be recharging as quickly as possible and also makes it to where sometimes you get it in less than a minute uh, because of this supported or additional ability regen you're getting from Font of Wisdom. And this is kind of nice because again, you're just gonna be getting it passively as you get those elemental wells. Next, we have our gloves and Really nothing special here using elemental light. This is gonna allow us just when we get kills with our super uh, to again, generate more elemental wells, which can trigger font of wisdom and a host of our other uh, well mods to make sure that we're just getting as much energy and damage output as possible. From there for our chest armor, I'm then using font of might. Again, picking up an elemental well that matches your subclass energy type, grants a temporary bonus to weapon damage. And this is gonna again, make sure that our weapons are doing as much damage as possible because we're going to be getting tons of wells uh, from all the enemies we're killing with our grenades, our supers, uh, from our weapons, from uh, you know our melee, just everything we're going to be doing basically is going to create elemental wells. So it's going to be nice to have Fontamite to make sure that we're constantly getting a temporary boost to or both that bonus damage for our same weapon elemental type, which again will all make sense when we get to our weapons. Uh, for our boots, we are using Elemental Ordnance, defeating a combatant with a grenade spawns an elemental well that matches your subclass energy type. Again, I feel like this is pretty straightforward, but as you can see, we're gonna be getting tons of kills with our grenades and all our abilities overall. And so all these different things are gonna be generating elemental wells, and then it's gonna to continue to trigger that uh, energy, uh, boost energy regen through Font of Wisdom for our super. And then I have Fusion Rifle Scavenger, because you're, as you're gonna see, we're gonna be using the seasonal fusion. And then lastly, to really just amp up our ability regen, we do have a class ability thing with double bomber here, which you can do, or what I would actually recommend if I can find it, is legacy, or sorry, not legacy those bomb, but running seeking wells. And this is gonna allow you to make sure that those elemental wells are all tracking to you. So you don't have to constantly worry about running to all the different wells to make sure you pick them up and get all these boosts. You're just gonna be kind of just doing your thing and your wells are gonna automatically track to you, automatically triggering all those energy and damage boosting perks that we talked about via the wells. Now we've talked so much about all these mods and armor and now we really have to tie it all together with our weapon and we have to start with the seasonal weapon delicate tomb, the fusion rifle here. As you can see, the traits are Tempest Cascade, collecting an Onyx Trace overcharges this weapon's next shot, jolting targets on hit. So as you can see from our pre our uh, build overall, we're gonna be generating tons of Ionic Traces almost constantly from every ability that we use and jolting targets. And so it's gonna be very easy to constantly trigger Tempest Cascade. And this allows us to basically on kill, it's gonna chain lightning to all the enemies around it. So this is great for ad clearing or just doing tons of damage. Also, as you saw from our, I believe it's Font of Might, that's gonna boost our damage to this weapon specifically, making it even more powerful. And as you can see, Trader's Vessel fires a wide horizontal spread when shot from the hip. Final blows with this weapon have a chance to generate ionic traces. Powerful foes and opposing guardians always generate ionic traces. So even the weapon itself 
is gonna help us generate additional ionic traces. So essentially with this build, what you're seeing is you're getting almost non-stop ionic traces that are triggering so much ability regen. And then you're also getting conduction times triggered. And then all of this is triggering uh, multiple ways of health regen, not hurry health regen, ability regen, damage output, all of that is paired together using our aspects and fragments. And so I did really enjoy this build overall. It's great for ad clear, great for boss damage, especially if you wanna utilize Chaos Reach. So you have that huge boss DPS you can tap into with your super. And the nice thing is about Chaos Reach as well, if you wanna cut it early to help support or save some of that super, if you need it, you can do that as well, just to better support that overall ability regen. And as you guys can see here, just looking at my stats, my stats are not overall, I would say very good. They're very meh, but even with these average stats, I was able to achieve insane ability regen. And so if you spec it out more to where you had maybe higher intellect or higher discipline or whatever you value most higher, look at this strength, terrible. But all that, but as bad as these stats are, my ability and super regen overall was absolutely insane on this build. So again, great for boss DPS, great for clearing ads and just doing tons of damage all at once. And it's a really fun synergistic build because you're essentially just electrocuting and jolting everything, constantly triggering conduction tines, constantly getting ionic traces with this constant ability uptime, constant damage boost from uh, your well mods. And it's just really synergistic in terms of turning into electrifying damage outputting machine so i hope you guys all enjoyed this build uh, i've had a lot of fun with it again dim link down below in the description and hope you guys are enjoying arc 3.0